Madam President, in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Madam President, I beg to move the following motion standing in my name. Whereas it is, it is the duty of the government to provide safe, reliable, and compassionate healthcare services for all citizens during a pandemic. And whereas during the COVID-19 pandemic, the government has failed to address the inequities in accessing healthcare services. And whereas the government has failed to meet the international standards for patient care, as is stated in the report of the committee appointed to investigate the factors contributing to clinical outcomes of COVID-19 patients in Trinidad and Tobago. And whereas the government has failed to effectively manage resources to facilitate the movement of critically ill patients to and from our nation's hospitals. Be it resolved that this Senate take note of the unacceptable number of deaths from COVID-19, and be it further resolved that this Senate call on the government to take immediate steps to initiate a commission of inquiry into the government's management of the COVID-19 pandemic at our nation's healthcare institutions. Um, I wish I can say it's a pleasure to be here, but as an MP, Tuesday is my constituency day, the day when I meet constituents. And I would have preferred to be in my constituency office today, meeting and treating with my constituents who have been affected by flooding, landslides, and everything else that goes with it. But here am I today, being called away from treating with my constituents' real problems, dealing with COVID. What an absolute abuse and waste of this Senate st Madam President, I am speaking from the point of view as a practitioner who worked in the trenches. I am not speaking as a mere critic, an uninformed expert. You will get the impression from the motion that pandemics come once every 10 years and that we had 10 of these in the past 100 years. We had one. So when you read the motion, you get the impression from Senator Naked that this is something that we are accustomed to doing. Nothing could be further than from the truth. The pandemic revealed the resilience of Trinidad and Tobago's healthcare system. Decreased strategies for the provision of a safe, reliable, and compassionate healthcare services for all nationals, non-nationals, and other vulnerable groups during the pandemic. And what did we do? The development of the parallel healthcare system. My friend says we should have engaged the private sector. The private sector has less than 400 beds. At the height of the pandemic, we had a thousand beds in the parallel healthcare system. How on earth, how on earth would you use 400 beds to put a thousand people? 